All right, so today we have the Good Smile Company Nendoroid Nanachi number 939 from Made in Abyss. I know I'm a little bit late on, actually I'm very late on this one, it's just I ordered from Big Bad Toy Store, I also got some Godzillas, and I just wanted them all to ship at the same time. And it took a little longer than expected, but here we go. We got Nanachi, as you can see I've already got the other two Nendoroids that have been put out for Made in Abyss. So... This one is the protagonist, Rico, have her in this little pose right here. And over here we have Reg. Now, I love the Rico Nendoroid. I think this is one of my favorite ones that I own. She just looks great. I didn't get the pre-order bonus with the other whistle, but honestly, I prefer this one. I wish they would do one of uh, Prushka's whistle, or even just a Nendoroid of Prushka herself would be great. Maybe even have a Bondrude. Maybe Bondrude would work better as a Figma. But anyways, that comes to Reg, Reg, whatever. Unfortunately, uh, this one ha has some problems. The cape is very... It's very hard to put him on, like, the stick for the stand with the cape. And his hole for the stand is a li lot lower than uh, a lot of other Nendoroids that I own. And these little tassel things, they move like that, but they're super fragile. And the one over here broke off almost immediately but the quality on them is very great especially this helmet i love the kind of gloss that it has you can see there just the shininess of it looks really great i have him in this little pose i'm hoping with nanachi i can make it like he's kind of trying to grab her so that'd be kind of funny uh this is an excellent series this is one of my favorites that are going on right now i am all caught up to here we go trying to balance this guy is not very fun there we go very finicky stand I'm all caught up to the manga. Here's one that I have here. I own not all the volumes yet, but quite a few of them. It's an incredible series. The movie that came out recently, Dawn of the Deep Soul, is, I genuinely believe, one of the greatest films of all time. And now we have Nanachi, who's probably my favorite of the three. And I was super excited for her for many reasons. One, first of all, she comes with Midi, which is, that alone is a really big plus. She was a little more expensive than other ones, but, um, I mean, the detail on this, just from previews, looked incredible. So I'm super excited to get to finally open this baby up. For anyone familiar with my cat mount video, that cat is actually meowing outside right now. So if you hear him, I apologize. I don't really want to bring him inside, obviously, because I got all this stuff going on. All right. So here we go. These usually just kind of pop off. Sometimes they have tape. This one just pops off. Cool. So we can get Nanachi out just right now. Wow. Okay. Right off the bat, this is already just great. It's very weighty, but in a good way. Let's just remove some of these. Now I'm new kind of to figure collecting and reviewing, and I'm... Not exactly sure yet, like, what these pieces of uh, plastic are for. I wonder if it's either, one, something to do with paint smearing, or two, God, just a, a way to kind of make them stiffer. I think I'm, I think it's the latter is what it is. Oop. <laughs> Take that up. There we go. Yeah, these Nendoroids, the body parts pop off, which isn't really a bad thing. You're not really going to make crazy poses out of these, typically. Um, it's whatever. They're very durable, typically very high-quality figures. She's a little bit more... Okay. And it looks like one more on her face. That came off real easy. Okay, so let's pop this back on. Wow, okay. I already have a lot to say about this. This is... This is incredible. This is, I think, genuinely already one of the best-looking Nendoroids I own. I knew that Made in Abyss would be a really great series to do Nendoroids of, just because the proportion, the kind of chibi style fits Made in Abyss very well. You can see right there, there's some really nice gloss on these little beads on her head. Um, looks like a little bit of a paint error right there, a little black dot on the ears. Oh, never mind, came off. It's just dust. I apologize. I think my uh, clamp for the stand closed my phone. Press the power button. So now we're back. And I'm still putting this on. 
like should just pop on it's giving a little bit resistance there we go okay and then we can kind of let me see how it looks in the picture the picture they have the spoon a lot higher up so let's try to just kind of push that upwards yeah like that oh there we go yeah that looks good now let's change the so we can according to this we just pop off the ears i'm always so nervous about doing this to new figures you know i don't want to mess things up oh okay that was pretty easy actually and the hat comes off very easy which is a huge plus we got her eating face right here so typical nendoroid you have to take off the front part of the hair which can be a little tough when the hair is very flat like nanachi's and i don't want to tug here because okay maybe i'm gonna have to do that i don't want to tug there just because it's I'm afraid I'll bend the plastic, you know? There we go. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. This pops off. First time I'm doing it, so it's going to have a little bit more resistance than it typically would. Pop that on right there. Look at that. That's awesome. She has really good articulation here. Uh, it, I do think it's a little loose because see how she kind of swings back and especially if she has her hat on which kind of weighs her down a lot more Yeah, you're gonna be getting that which I mean luckily you have the stand to fix that but Yeah, this is a bit too loose. That's my unless I can Maybe more tightly secure it mm, Not sure. Let's try it though. So we'll put the hat on Pop the ears back on like so. There we go. And we'll just put this right here. Okay, looks like because her hat's so big, I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah. Okay. And she looks good. She looks good right there. And you can just set MIDI either next to her like that, or if you really wanted to, kind of try to find a way. It's a little harder because I'm diagonal on the stand, but it's, MIDI should be fine just right there. She should be good. This is excellent. This is this is definitely a great Nendoroid. I think it's easily the best of the Made in Abyss line so far. I'm gonna have fun posing these later. It looks like she has, these arms are kind of, I guess, grabbing her face, kind of like what Rika's doing back there. You know what, let's, let's just do, try doing this right here. <laughs> there we go. See, I've waited a long time to do a pose like this. I love more fun messing around with that, but if you're a fan of Made in Abyss, these Nendoroids, although Reg has some issues, like I said, these tassels are very easy to break off and the cape is very hard to balance. He's actually balancing really well right now, which this is the first time he's ever been kind of this solid. Uh, no complaints about Rico. Um, she is fantastic. Can be a little hard to put these glasses on, but the hat pops off too, which is great. She looks great. But Nanachi, this knocks it out of the park. This is an incredible, incredible figure. Just the amount of detail, the weight that she has, the attention to detail and just her texture, the fur, the ears, the fact that she comes with Midi, and I mean, Midi can't really move on her own, so you don't really need her to be posable or anything. You can see also the detail in that mouth, the teeth, the eye is, yeah, it's got texture there, like an indent. This eye here is a flat, which, I mean, it's a tiny little extra, so I can't really complain too much. You have a little tough of fur there, and... And I figured out the problem, and it happened again. It's just I am doing the 4K 60 frames on my video, and that only records up to five minutes. So 
be mindful of that either i'll stop doing the 60 frames or i'll plan out the five minute breaks and edit them together but anyways as i was saying midi not too much detail but i mean she's just a little extra and really like what more detail does she really need um but that's pretty much it i mean we got nanachi all posed i'm definitely going to experiment with her more so we got the whole squad be careful with reg because he like i said he's actually doing really well with the balancing usually i have kind of a problem with him but wow for once he's working just as intended so we got right here we got the whole squad so again these are all great besides the little issues of reg and it's just they fit the style of Nendoroid and Made in Abyss itself so perfectly. I'm so happy with Good Smile for putting these out, and I just really hope they continue with this. I would love a Prushka, maybe even a Bondrood, although Bondrood's proportions would be kind of weird. Maybe Figma would be better for him. I just want to see more of N Nendoroids. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Nendoroids, but I love them especially when they just kind of perfectly fit the style of the character that they're doing. And really, like, no complaints for Nanachi. Her waist is a little hard to balance, but once you put her on the stand like I did, she holds up perfectly fine. Yeah, this, this is just great. I'm so happy with this, and I'm very happy with this video. This is the, like I said, the first time I've done a figure review in this style. I definitely want to keep doing more, and I will improve. Don't worry, it's just... You know, I'm not making much money from this, and uh, unfortunately, let's address the elephant in the room right now. Yes, everyone always comes just expecting more uh oh stinky. Look, I'm not my, I'm not normally like that. I like other things. I have a passion for, you know, weeaboo crap, like figure collecting. And I just want to find a way to express that out there, bring more of these to you, hopefully. I mean, I'm buying them anyways, so I might as well share them. So <laughs> that's enough of a rant and ramble. This is Good Smile, Nendoroid 939 Nanachi. I give her an A. Again, I'm just, it's, it's perfect. It really is exactly what I was hoping for. And I'm just, I, I love, 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 love this sugar. It's got a great weight. She matches the others very well. And I highly recommend the series Made in Abyss. I know it looks strange, and it has a lot of controversy, but trust me, the art, the characters, the writing is just incredible. And if you're not a manga person, the anime is on par with the manga, I'd say. It's streaming on Amazon. The uh, third movie, which the first two are recaps, so you don't really have to watch them. The third movie is a genuine masterpiece. One of the greatest I've ever seen. I might link the review I did for it on Letterboxd in the description for this video. I just, I love this series, and Hideo Kojima does too. And Hideo Kojima is never wrong, okay? This is Real Human Being, ending this figure review of Nanachi.